No matter what language you speak, everyone can recognize a great no. 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 Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movie no's. No! For this list, we're looking at the most devastating, distressing, and downright hilarious screams of negative emotion in cinema. Be warned, there are bound to be a few spoilers ahead, so spoiler alert. Are you ready? No, we know it. Number 10, Ron Burgundy, Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy. I love poetry, and a glass of scotch, and of course, my friend Baxter here. Yeah. The loss of one's best friend is always tragic, especially if that friend is a dog that Jack Black kicks off the Coronado Bridge in a fierce fit of anger after he's carelessly pelted by a burrito. If you want to throw down in fisticuffs, fine. I've got Jack Johnson and Tom O'Leary waiting for you right here. <laughs> what really drives home this scream, though, is the absurd buildup from the ever so eloquent Ron Burgundy. What are you doing? That's how I roll. His delicate speech transcends into a distraught scream that can be felt all across the city of San Diego. No! With pipes like that, we consider this the perfect no to literally kick off our list. The man put it back, sir! Calm down. Number nine, Simba the Lion King. Scar! Brother, help me! A slight shift in tone, we go from hilarious comedy to one of the most heartfelt deaths in cinema history. Long live the king. Upon seeing his father fall to his death at the hands of his uncle Scar, though we didn't know his uncle was the culprit at the time, our favorite lion cub lets out his most powerful scream of denial as the camera zooms out. <laughs> What makes it that much worse is the way Mufasa's own scream mixes in with Simba's before the dust settles in complete silence. A tragic shriek fit for a royally heartbreaking scene. Yeah, come on. You gotta get up. Number eight, security guard number two, Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery. Nothing beats a good old fashioned accepting of fate scream, or two, or three. Watch out! Move! Move! Not quite as smart as his friend, this particular security guard can foresee no path of escape from Austin Powers and his steamroller. Careful, Austin! His scream is passionately fearful of his slowly approaching death, and is delivered perfectly and comically three times in a row. No! While his vocalized struggles prove futile, Michael McDonald will always be remembered for one of the most entertaining no's in any comedy. Watch out! No! Watch out! Watch no! out! Number seven, Virgil Bud Brigman, The Abyss. Deep core, deep core, this is cab one over. Screaming underwater is clearly no easy task, but of course, James Cameron is on hand to make it great. Son of a bitch! Amid the icy cold depths of the Cayman Trough, Lindsay convinces her husband Virgil to let her drown so he'll have enough oxygen to return to their ship, where he'll hopefully be able to resuscitate her later. I drowned and you tow me back to the rig. No! No! Yes, this water! No! We're a couple of degrees above freezing! With her body twitching and struggling, Virgil lets out a ravenous spike of emotion. The sound design abandons the muffled realism of the diving suit in favor of a crisp voiceover to really drive home the power of the scream. No! Number six, Marty McFly, Back to the Future. Michael J. Fox takes a little bit of creative liberty with this entry. After witnessing his best friend being gunned down by the group of Libyan nationalists Doc Brown had previously screwed over, everyone's favorite time traveler puts all of his weight and strength behind one high octave scream. No! Bastard! Marty's sweaty and wide-eyed expression punctuates the sheer pain of his yell. The panicked rush forward, alongside McFly's further cursing, only helps to build the quick comedic standoff against the Libyans. A perfect scream which we'd happily go back in time to watch again. And in fact, 
we do. No! Number five, Jean-Luc Picard, Star Trek First Contact. The line must be drawn here, this far, no farther. The once calm and calculated captain finds himself overwhelmed with revenge here. I will make them pay for what they've done. Comparisons to Moby Dick aside, Moby Dick. Patrick Stewart exclaims his greatest fury after the Enterprise is captured by the Borg. I will not sacrifice the Enterprise. The dramatic buildup, coupled with the thespian captain's delayed reactions, are merely the cherry on top of this outburst. This is about saving the future of humanity! Passionate with revenge, Picard's smashing of the glass display provides the nail in the coffin to the Enterprise and provides us a fantastic big screen scream. No! No! Number four, Detective David Mills, seven. I'm trying to tell you how much I admire you and your pretty wife. Those of you familiar with this David Fincher classic already know exactly what is in the box. <coughs> Overwhelmed by his own denial, sweet young Brad Pitt refuses to acknowledge his wife's death at the hands of the greatest serial killer as played by Kevin Spacey. It didn't work out. So, I took a souvenir. Her pretty head. The transition from panic to denial, to grief and ultimately rage, are all portrayed in Pitt's performance. What's in the box? Give me the gun. He just told you. Assisted by Spacey's unmoved expression, this savage scream proves to be one of the silver screen's most dramatic. Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh! New Line executives sought to change the ending, but Pitt remained adamant about the proposal. We're guessing he simply said no. No! No! Number three, Caesar, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. What the hell? A slight change of pace from depressive performances as Andy Serkis brings us pure defiance. What the hell do you think you're doing, huh? In the heat of battle against his captors, the intelligent ape Caesar utters his first word. Take your stinking bar off me, you damn dirty ape! Silence fills the screen as the shock engulfs our ears. What makes this particular note interesting is the way Caesar's voice was captured, mixing chimp sounds into Circus's voiceover to create an authentic blend. This makes it the only no on the list to carry the rage of other animals alongside the actors itself. No! 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 Number two. Frodo Baggins, the Lord of the Rings, the Fellowship of the Ring. You cannot pass! Taking the number two spot on our list is the one no to almost rule them all. You shall not pass! After Gandalf defends the Fellowship from the wrath of the Balrog, he makes his departure from the living world and leaves poor Frodo to watch on. Probably you fools! The slow motion of the scene helps bring out the tragedy and turmoil of Frodo's scream. Meanwhile, Elijah Wood's pained and agonized expression as he cries out tells us the whole story. No! Before we reveal our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. No! Number one, Darth Vader, Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith. Where is Padme? Is she safe? George Lucas's sci-fi epic is no stranger to dramatic no's. While the reveal of Luke Skywalker's father is probably the most recognizable of the series, no! it's Darth Vader's lamenting of his fallen wife that triumphs on the list. Is she all right? It seems in your anger, you killed her. A blend of Frankenstein imagery with powerfully tragic choir sounds is the perfect buildup to represent Vader's devastation. I couldn't have 
She was alive. I felt it. Whether or not you think it's James Earl Jones' thick, bellowing voice that's being juxtaposed with the brooding torment of such an iconic villain doesn't take away from the fact that this is the cheesiest and therefore most memorable no in movie history. No! Do you agree with our list? No! What powerful no's are your favorite? For more dramatic top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.